This is the video review of the Power Rangers Turbo Megazord, and I really like this set because all of the individual Zords, well, except for the uh, red one right here because it's a bit too small and a bit too um, fancy looking, too sporty, all of them just look like normal toys. Like if these were real cars on the road, you wouldn't think anything about them if they passed you. They would just be like, oh, hey, it's another car. And it has a real strong um, Robots in Disguise vibe, which is interesting because usually Power Rangers has uh, giant Transformers Rex vehicles or big VTOL things or drill tanks or, I don't know, um, police cars or stuff like that. They're all things that are flashy that, that you would notice. Here, the flashiest thing right uh, of this set, the flashiest thing is this and this, and they all still look like things that would exist in real life that aren't super notable. Um, and I just think that's kind of, kind of neat and unique how, um, subtle this set is compared to some others. Now, first we'll look at, um, number one, the red sort. It rolls really nicely. In fact, it even has rubber tires. Well, they might be rubber or they might be plasticized PVC. I'm not sure. Um, because of the age of the toy and how um, a long time ago, rubber was more common than plasticized PVC, and because of how good of condition these tires are in, I'm ass assuming they there might be a strong chance of them actually being rubber, but I don't know. The actual vehicle itself looks nice, but uh, like I said earlier, it's a bit too small compared to the rest, and a bit too sporty in a way that the others aren't. To transform it, you pull this back, which reveals the head. Uh, for now, I'll leave it like this, not... Um, plugged together but just separated. That'll make it easier when I plug it into the number two uh, blue Zord. I'll put this off to the side and now we'll look at the number two. And this is a neat little um, pickup truck. And it's a very uh, tricked out like the um, the kind of person who owns this goes off on a lot of uh, off-roading things, takes uh, really good care of his car. It's, it's that kind of truck. And I, I do quite like it. It's uh, got it's heavy, it's got some die cast in, like this entire section here is die cast. It's got die cast in the grill, and it's just a very nice little car. Because of its weight, it rolls pretty well. Although the uh, actual design of the wheels, especially back here, like this is the um, ratchet mechanism. And I'll show you how this works, because this ratchet mechanism is really neat. Because the um, connection port is the wheel itself. But the um, thing in there is a ratchet mechanism. It'll make more sense when I uh, show how this connects. Anyway, it's a neat little car. To transform it, you pop these up, pull these out to the side, pull the connectors out, and then fold the back out. Uh, fold this up, fold this up, and we'll put it off to the side. Next, we'll look at number three, which is almost exactly identical to number four, actually. There are just some minor differences, like the um, shape of the grill, uh, the shape of the windscreen, and the um, bumper. It's they, They're a little bit different, different colors, and they're basically the same thing, though. They roll really well because they have a very basic wheel designs, and uh, that's about it, about it for their vehicle modes. So transform them. You pop these back. These are the connector ports for the legs. Pop the uh, pop this forward, and this will be the foot. Do the same to this guy, and that's it. Put these off to the side. Now look at the last one, number five. And this one, um, it's just a little car. The wheels are a bit too big to be a normal, uh, well, I guess it would be two-door, but I was going to say four-door, to be just a normal car that you might see on a road. The wheels are a bit too big, and the suspension's a bit too high, but otherwise it's, um, and of course, um, a normal car wouldn't have something like this on the front, but it is a very nice little car. It actually doesn't roll super well compared to the others. Not sure why. Uh, might just be mine and some age in it. It's I haven't uh, cleaned these, by the way, although I probably should. Now to transform this, you'll pop it apart, flip the fist out, flip the connector down, lift the uh, windshield up, bring it forward, and then there's a little tab right here that'll go under the wheel well. Like that. Do the same to the other side. Out, out, lift, bring it to the side, and here we have the arms. Now I'll bring everything else back in. We'll start with the legs. Actually, no, we won't start with the legs because um, this is actually one of the uh, neat bits of engineering with, the, uh, with this one. Now you see the legs here. They can still go in and out. 
To prevent that, there's a little flap that will fold down here and that will keep them from going in. And we need the red sword to come in and there's a little um, clip right here and a tab right there that'll keep it in. Push this in and that will push the flap down and then this will tab in kinda, kinda okay. Then you'll bring this back, press it down and then this will uh, sort of friction in to us some notches back there. Friction's in pretty decently actually. And here we have the torso in the making. This will make it so this, so the legs are more sturdy. Then we'll put number three right here. And the way this works is that there's a um, overhang right here and there's a little spring-loaded tab in there. And that will hook it together. Do the same to the other side. And here we have the legs and the torso. Now all we have left are the arms. <coughs> And going back to this ratchet mechanism, uh, you see these little uh, things in here that can go back and forth. Those actually latch around this lip on the arm, on the shoulder joint. But the uh, actual ratchet mechanism is there are little uh, tabs all around the inside of here. You're not going to be able to see them, I don't think. But anyway, they rub against, or they uh, set against the white notches on this part here. And the way the ratchet mechanism works is once you put this in, if you watch, it moves to the side and never goes forward and back. What's happening is the notches in here are moving past the notches over here, but not in a way that strips them, not like a gear stripping. What happens is when it turns, it pushes the arm away from it and the springs act as the um, pawl of the ratchet mechanism. And that's a very neat way of making the wheel the a ratchet mechanism. I just think that's super neat how that works. It's one of the reasons why I like this set so much because it has lots of little neat little engineering bits like the shoulder joints in there and then a flap down there and then and it's just a neat little set. And now we have the Turbo Megazord all put together and it's not the best looking Megazord ever but I do think it looks pretty nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I really like the head here. It's got a nice design. I like the chrome on the chest. I like the die cast everywhere. And it's just a really neat little figure. And one thing I do really appreciate about it is how much effort was put into making this not just look like a bunch of cars. Like the uh, Blue Zord no longer looks like a truck because of how the front's been split, how this has turned into a chest, and how it's been filled on the inside. The legs down here, they do look like cars but they look like they organically flow into the rest of the figure because of how the grill of the um, minivans and the grills of the pickup truck sort of combine together to make interesting looking kneecaps. And then on the arms, they are just a car split in half, but because uh, the windscreen moved up, it actually looks like it has an elbow joint and I think that just works really well. And I, I appreciate the effort that went into it. For posability, the arms can rotate around 360. And that's about it. You can, if you pop this out a little bit, use this as a pseudo knee joint, kinda. But it doesn't work, and it's you're gonna it's gonna fall over if you try. So it's a uh, basic '90s Megazord with no articulation. I do quite like it though. Um, it doesn't have many flaws. But the one flaw it does have, I do really dislike, which is it doesn't really have any heels. Now, I did actually have to tap it kind of hard to get it to fall over, so it's not terrible, but if it had better heels, it would be a better figure. But overall, I do highly recommend the figure. It has a very neat combination sequence with a lot of um, the engineering on the Blue Zord. The individual Vehicles are nice looking and subdued, which is an interesting take for Power Rangers, and it's just a really neat little figure. So, yeah, I review Power Rangers, Transformers, Macross figures, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.